What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger and today we are on MXBMM ranked We're officially the ranked servers for MX Bikes right now. I'm on the Honda 250. We're here at Arlington um, I know they have a rotation now finally for Supercross and I think that is an amazing thing uh, I've been kind of waiting for this for a very long time I've always wanted to play ranked, but I just don't like playing any more of the you know stock maps now and especially going into the winter time towards I guess being um, you know for their aerial season to practice playing in ranked would help a lot of players especially whether you be noob or beginner uh, pro you know almost semi pro I think this is gonna help you out tremendously especially only doing supercross so I don't know I'll do one race here let me know if you guys would want to see more ranked content from your boy um, I know a lot of people are gonna be on 450 thinking that you know that's how they're gonna be able to stay ahead of the game but we'll see how many hazards are actually on 450s or not but let's do it let's drop the gate here in Arlington I should be able to get a good start here as long as I don't get beat up, and I do get beat up. It's almost like the inevitable, and I have to like pay for pay for it every time. But that's all good with me. Honestly, I need to get these like little small jumps out of the way, or small parts out of the way, and actually break off. So I can always manage with maybe getting one fall in the beginning. It always separates a lot of people from kind of everywhere else. So if I don't fall again, we'll be straight. And the leader looks like he's already down again. Yeah, but I hope to see a lot of people in these servers, to be honest with you. I didn't know these were a thing until maybe a couple days ago, and I said I'd probably give it a go on Monday. And here I am on Monday, so I don't know if I want to do one race or two for a video, at least starting out. I just want to see if you guys would be down to watch it. But I think Supercross ranked right here, we can actually make some really good content. Because there's uh, good people that join up at times, and there's some bad people that join up. And I think we can have some really fun. Um, I just don't, like I said, I, th I just don't think I'd want to do a ranked uh, Papiti series to where it's just kind of, I don't know how should I say, I don't know how to, I guess I don't know how to explain it, like where it's just stock maps or like fantasy maps, I would love to do a rank to where it's like more of these pro tracks, especially being on just like Aerial 2024, even the outdoors, I'd be so down to go back and forth from doing like a series of that to this and really upping it, I think that's right there where you could really test like yo, I'm actually ranked, like more of the competitive side ranked, so, so far really showing out on this 250 Honda. I do have a friend in here named Salister. He's been around for a very long time, and uh, it was kind of cool to see him in here. So huge shout out to Salister. Salister, excuse me. He's always rocking that Yamaha, no matter wherever I see him go. But I decided to hop on the Honda, dude. To be honest with you, I was kind of missing my Joe Shimoda days or my Joe Shimo life. I really enjoy wearing my Fox gear. I thought I'd bring it back out for a race or two. And so far, this thing is such a good bike, dude. And no other way to start off our ranked series <laughs> here on Arlington, bro. I love this map, like, so much. Like, this map, or this track, I don't know why I said map. This track literally just kind of starts the, the foundation of where I really started to realize I needed to move up from amateur to go to pro uh, this year for Supercross. Because right after this is Daytona, and that's where I actually qualified for my very first one. And, man, dude, I felt so comfortable on this track, and I still do, man. I, it's, like, one of my favorites, so... I know I can't do it on a Honda, but if I was to hop on a Husky, Husky slash maybe KTM, I'd probably be able to hit a 49. Um, I did hit a 49 actually on a freaking Kawasaki. That's pretty insane. So I think the Honda might be too fat for me to get it, get her done. But we're already putting out a lead right now so far. The only person that's hanging with us is L92 or 192. So see if he's going to be able to persevere lap three out of five. Now, depending on how quick these videos go, because I know some maps are are shorter than the others, and um, kind of realize, you know, time variant, I don't want to make it to where it's not over a eight minute video, or not under an eight minute video, so we've already got like four minutes pushing, we're on lap three, so maybe we might have to do two, and I think that'd be a good amount of like videos, especially with the rotations. That's the coolest thing about the rotations, that you're going to have multiple different maps to get some kind of content on mess around allows me to test out a lot of bikes as well all day as long as these servers are full i like filled excuse me not full uh filled as long as these servers are filled like i can literally get so much testing in different bikes riding different different good things so oh maybe we can even do like a bike of the bike of the day or bike of the week for ranked i think that'd be sick i don't know i was really trying to see where i want to go with this mid-pack thing like mid-pack C-class and maybe see like we try to do like a one-week contract in ranked to see if we actually earned it. I think that'd be sick. But 
all the good things. I think there's a lot of things that could come out of this. So I hope you guys search up, you know, the exclamation mark MXBM uh, ranked rotation for Supercross, especially for those who are trying to really compete for either amateurs next year and or pro. This will definitely get you right. Scrub here, yes sir. W to BK, I appreciate you. W to BK allowing me to get past right there. That's huge. Oh my god. Nice. We are on lap five, so all we gotta do is hold it back, man. This Honda is so consistent. Honda is literally so consistent. I really like going fifth gear through these whoops. A 1249 also. I don't know if you guys heard it, man. I have not bogged not once, man. Like 1249 is just such a good gearing. <laughs> like for any supercross like situation. Yeah. Put a little burn ski on him, guys. I like that. I will take it. It's a dub. Yeah, I believe if if it's going in rotation, I believe Daytona is next, right? I oh, know we ran a 50.8 right there just on consistency. So I guess we'll see.